everyone! Hi! Hi. <laughs> As you can see, it's the full PV editorial team here with our weekly live. This is the first uh, live we've done for a little while. We've, you might have seen we've done some interviews, but we haven't really had a catch up just about what's going on at the company and, and the big news stories of the week. So we thought we'd do that this week. Um, and as you probably noticed, we have a new team member who's joined us. Hi. Eleanor <laughs> Houston has joined us as content writer um, just before Christmas. So still fairly new, but Eleanor's getting stuck in. She's come from the world of consumer beauty, so knows loads about the industry. And you'll be seeing lots more of her over the next uh, coming months. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so in the meantime, we just thought we'd uh, have a chat through some of the biggest stories of the week that we've been covering online. Yeah. Yeah, um, I'll go first. So it wouldn't be the start to a new year without a bit of controversy and a bit of talk about Botox. But um, the ASA is cracking down on beauty salons illegally advertising Botox on social media. So these new rules are coming into effect from Jan 31st. And pretty much they are going to be finding these problematic ads, flagging them to Facebook and Instagram and making sure that they're taken down. They're also going to be reporting them to the right bodies to have them followed up and looked into a bit more. Um, so pretty much the watchdog is cracking down on paid for ads, non paid for posts and influencer marketing as well as promotional advertising such as Botox parties or offering Botox treatments as part of a competition prize. Um, I think this is something that's been like a long time coming yeah. um, and I think a lot of people are really happy that it's come in but the enforcement warning has already been sent to more than 130,000 firms in the beauty industry. And the interesting thing on this one is it's not just beauty salons they're targeting, it's across the board, mm. it's just, it's mm. illegal to advertise prescription only medicines as Botox is, so yeah. it's doctors and, and salons that really need to take notice and look at what they're doing on social as well as yeah. in the salons. And, oh, yeah. and there's, there's other things, so they're checking for like, like, if you're trying to get around it, I think they said like mm. beauty talks and things yeah. like that, or the hashtags that people are using, yeah. they're going to be checking those and they're using some quite clever algorithms to mm -hmm. find all these things, so pretty much just don't try and yeah. trick it or just don't mm. do it um yeah. there are yeah. other ways to advertise if that is a service that you offer but in the correct way mm. they've got a full list of the stuff that you can check um if you go on our website you can find the story on there and it will give you the list and it's definitely worth looking into it and making sure that you're not doing anything like that because they're giving you this kind of grace period till jam 31st to kind of look into it so yeah yes and then with um January here, some of you might be doing for January, um, and Salon Direct has actually announced a map of vegan salons in the UK, so um, it's an interactive map, if you go on their website you can see a list of all the vegan salons in the UK and it's constantly being updated, so if you have a vegan salon you can add it on there, you just have to go to their website, um, but what we're seeing is actually that a lot of vegan salons are actually in the southwest, that's kind of like the key hub of the vegan salons but we're now seeing a lot more popping up in the north and obviously in London and the southeast as well so yeah it's all kind of really branching out now and we're seeing more and more salons. Mm. Yeah. So you can have a look at the map on our website um, but yeah it's interesting just to see it visually so it's probably in a way not that surprising that it would be the southwest like Bristol mm. and Cornwall obviously very hot on the veganism in London have loads of uh, vegan mm. salons but more are popping up as well yeah so interesting to, to see that and as the trend develops. Yes, and then some other little bits, obviously uh, Professional Beauty London is coming up very soon, Woo! just to check, everybody knows, <laughs> it is March the 29th and March the 30th, 2020, the day after my birthday, so you can oh. all say happy birthday <laughs> to me at the show, um, and, yeah. but yeah. It's a month later than it was yes. last year, so just yes. put that in your diary yeah. in case so you yes. block not, it out. Not February, it's March. In um, March. <laughs> and you can find all the details, we have links to it obviously all over social, it's on the website, so make sure you register for your free ticket, we've got lots of exciting things, live stages and competition details are coming over the next couple of weeks as well, so I know a lot of you have been asking about that on our socials, so yeah, yeah. that's all coming very, very soon. Mm, yeah. Yes. And also a reminder that the Professional Beauty Awards yes. is um, still open for entries, but only for another week. So if you've started an entry and haven't completed it yet, as I know many people have, you've only got a week. It's Friday next week, the 24th of Jan, mm. is the deadline. So get your entries in. Um, yeah, yes. it's going to be a fantastic event. That's yeah. in June this year, so that's changed as well. Mm. And it's a standalone event. It's going to be amazing. Um, but yeah, now's the time to enter mm. and get your business the recognition that you deserve. Yes. <laughs> Don't miss out. Yeah. 
I think that's all we wanted to say. So yes, we will be doing more and more lives. We've got more interviews coming up with some of our PV London speakers, some brands, yeah. some really cool things coming. Yeah, yeah. So yes, Just keep an eye. Yeah, watch yeah. your space. We'll see you soon. And we'll see you next week. <laughs> yeah, see you later. Bye. Bye.